Hello, my name is Mariana, and today this is a reading for Pisces. So Pisces, as usual, I'm doing this reading with my own tarot deck, so the cards that you'll see are from this deck. And we do have an interesting reading today because there is this image of a seed being planted in the perfect spot, receiving the most amount of sunlight, which is very helpful for its quick development, which is something that is very um, prominent here in your reading today, Pisces. So I do feel like there is the sense of inner growth, personal growth, maturity, perhaps, in a, um, it's like in a small amount of time. But there's also this alert here coming uh, at the very end, actually, talking about how this moment of like this growth spurt, it can be, it can be done with um, maturity, with presence, with consciousness, with um, with awareness of the choices that you can make right now. Because I do feel like there is excitement with all of this quick growth, this fast pace, because you are exactly where you need to be. And so you're receiving everything that is going to feed that growth. But there is this, uh, it's more like a guidance. It's almost like for you to not have to come back to this point and adjust things, choose wisely what you're going to grow into or what you're going to become after this growth or with this growth. So we're beginning here with the seed, which is the page of wands. So what I heard from this card was a brand new seed. So it seems like you are the one who, and I wanna say you are also excited to be this new seed. Maybe we're talking about star seed, although I don't see much of that um, cosmic um, narrative or point of view. It's more like the excitement of being a seed, right? Here on earth in particular, because sometimes I uh, talk about how this uh, symbol for the wand suit, actually, um, I know that it represents fire, but most of the times I see it as a tree. So it wants to be grounded here on earth. And the funny thing is that this brand new seed has this very, very quick development with the eight of wands. And I was intrigued because um, this card was showing me like these um, cell divisions, right? So it's like in, in the cellular level, in the cellular um, microscopic type of scale, but it's perceivable. It's almost like you being the seed, it's like you can feel the shift in your body. You can feel the shift in like maybe like the, the hormones in your own organs right it's like this very it's very subtle but since you it's like since you are very present since you are it's like you are the one going through this pisces i want to say so you can feel it in your body you can feel the shift you can feel the quick pace the fast evolution this um this quick development and that's because with the five of pentacles, you are exactly where you need to be. So this card was talking about, you know, and this card has been coming up a lot lately. Um, and it's talking about being in the right spot, being in exactly the right place, the right time that you need to be. But most of all, it's not even wanting to go to the right time. It's more like the right place, right? It's wanting to be like um, the precise point that you needed to be planted, that this seed needed to be planted, that you needed to initiate something, you know, talking about the spark, right? That spark that ignites some sort of creativity, some sort of boost of confidence, some sort of um, just like this push, this first push, right? To begin something, but it develops very quickly because you have put that intention, you have put that seed maybe inside yourself in the perfect spot, right? So the soil is very uh, fertile. It's 
it's full of integrity, right? You already know this by now if you've watched um, my recent readings, the Five of Pentacles being the card that symbolizes integrity. So this integrity is like, it's almost like the, the secret ingredient that makes this uh, quick development happen. It's almost like the, um, oh, what is that word? Catalyst? Catalyst, I think that's the word. Um, it's like the, the, the thing that is going to boost up this, this spurt, right? It's like you, you realizing that you being in the right place, yes, the right time, but most of all, the right place, it's like that land, that situation, those circumstances, those qualities of that place are so nutritious, are so um, full of like, uh, just like the right ingredients, right? And so because of that, it feels like there is a lot of life, right? It's like in the earth. So it's, it's very fast, right? I feel like you, you get what I mean. So the other ingredient that just complements this quick development to you, to your seed is the sun, right? So this I want to say it's almost like this, um, the amount of sunlight, it's almost like there isn't a bad day, right? For this uh, seed to see the light of day. It's almost like there is this, maybe there is a little bit of anxiety. Maybe, you know, there is excitement to, you know, quickly go from being the se being the seed, being the seed that is, um, has been planted um, on the earth, in the earth. But also being, it's like that, having that desire, being the desire is what I was going to say, being the desire to see the sunlight. And that's, it's like, that is very motivating. That is very, um, it's like enlivening, right? So there is this notion, this awareness, this presence that you are exactly where you need to be that everything around you wants you to grow, is pushing you to grow. It's giving this huge incentive, right? And it feels like because of that, there isn't a bad day. There isn't a day where, you know, it's going to be cloudy. It's almost like there is this belief that the sun is always going to shine upon you because you already feel in your body. It's like you can see the difference, right? Maybe it's only internally at this point because it's at the cell cellular level but really it's like quicker than you think right because sometimes i see the sun as a clock face so it's almost like the the sun is picking up the the time is picking up right and you know uh the five of pentacles was talking about like don't be concerned about being um in the right place at and the right time because you don't have to worry about that portion right of the equation that part of the equation is like that's something that the universe will take care of for you it's like it's something just it's a natural process so time in itself is something that you don't have to be concerned about you can only mm, not control but you you can help right by just being exactly where you need to be and so knowing that and knowing that the sun will, will always shine upon you, it's almost like that's the perfect scenario, right? And so you know how you are growing. You, you can feel it in your body, I want to say. And it feels like a huge hug from the universe because the Seven of Cups is coming next. Sometimes I see this as a huge hug. And at first, that was the message. But after the rest of uh, the cards came through, I'm actually seeing this as um, more like a, the traditional meaning of it, talking about how there is this array of options. It's almost like, you know, because there is this quick development, this quick growth, it's almost like you are going to be presented with so many different options. And you're going to have to push through, right? It's almost like having a lot of options. It's almost like that's going to be the challenge in itself. 
because that's going to be like the thing that is going to give you the incentive to push forward, forward, uh, you know, the, the surface of the earth to meet the sun, because this is where you feel hugged or this is where you feel embraced. But since there are many options and you're still like, you know, a seed, you're still learning about this, you, you're still in the initial stages of this development. Yes, it's quick, but still is the initial stages. And so because it's the page of swords, I want to say that the sword pushing forward, pushing upwards is this thrust of desire to break through the surface of the earth and, you know, meet the sun. But what this means, if you choose too early, right, if you choose with this um, naivety or with this, um, it's like it's, it's too premature, I want to say, for you to choose based on just these options. Because afterwards, it's almost like if you choose too early, Pisces, it's like you're going to let go of options that are also very enriching, but you will have to come back to that, right? It's like you will have to reassess because the cards that are coming next, which are actually they uh, turn together. So the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. So you see here how, let me see if I can hold this. So you're being represented by both the page and the knight. So these are two different stages of development. So the page here is wanting to be like this, um, it's like this second moment after the seed, after the awareness that you are the seed, that you are exactly where you need to be and that you can al al already feel this growth, right? So it's almost like you're, wanting to just push and push and push and it's fascinating because yesterday in the extended for Aquarius uh, there was this uh, notion with uh, this mm, guidance I want to say but this incentive to push a little bit harder to break through right to, to break a limit um, almost like a baby needing to push right to be uh born so but that's the thing it's like you're you're having somewhat a similar metaphor but it's the metaphor of the seed you know that has to you know in order for it to grow it needs to push through uh the earth so that is okay that is um very pertinent it's very uh appropriate to the stage that you're in but if you are resonating with this, Pisces, I want to say it's like just be aware that pushing forth or pushing upwards to break through in a hasty way just because you have the excitement to, you know, meet the sun or live this enlightenment or, you know, um, just find happiness perhaps. Um, know that there are options that are valuable because the seven of pentacles here is talking about you know if you push too hard too soon it's almost like you're going to create some sort of block right mental block i want to say because here the the helmet of this knight the knight of swords it's almost like it's um the the it's like the next step, right? The next stage of uh, evolution from this page. But it's only if you do this prematurely because it's like you're going to be too cautious or too, um, uh, what is the word, prudent, right? It's like you're going to hold back because you're going to have to come back and reassess the options, the, the other options that you didn't choose right? So it's almost like with the Seven of Cups, they are still pretty much open. There's still these abstract possibilities. But once you have chosen one and you go for it, you see here how the the hat of the page it has like this one um, part, this one side of the hat. 
that is more uh it's like straight than the others right so it's almost like if you choose this one then the others will fall away or you're going to have the sensation that by choosing one it's like you're you're um it's like you're just throwing away the others or you're just not it's like they're not going to come back around right although that might not be exactly the truth because with the seven of pentacles i do see there is worth in waiting a little bit longer to consider all of the possibilities don't 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 choose you know the one that feels most comfortable or the one that feels um the you know the brightest it's like consider all of them and know that there is going to come a time where you're going to have a little bit more maturity a little bit more um understanding or experience and yet it's like you are still going to have to look back i want to say because either this is kind of like a guidance it doesn't need to be you know um a stop in your journey it doesn't need to be a moment of uh you know because you have such momentum with the eight of wands it's like this very fast growth and it feels like at some point not so much um it's like it's not going to take so long for you to feel like things are slowing down because you have to go and look back to what was left behind right it's not like mm, sooner rather than later i want to say it's like you're going to be mature enough to see the value in the things that you didn't choose so it's almost like if you know this already from the start from the get-go from the moment that you are this seed that is being planted in the right place and in the right time although you don't have to worry about that um just know that you can it's like get comfortable in this embrace right it's like allow the sun to shine on you don't be too hasty to choose because either way it's like you're going to assess or reassess the choice right so it's almost like also don't don't worry too much about making the right choice right because it's like maybe there is this pressure you know maybe it's the pressure that the earth uh makes right and it's intentional because it's meant to strengthen the seed right but the thing is it's like you're going to have almost like the the proper knowing this the proper mindset if you if you make this decision too hastily it's like you're going to use this helmet almost as like you know in the reverse almost like as something that is actually going to close your mind close your consciousness instead of opening up or being the proper tool the proper um uh vest or the proper thing that you need to break through the earth right so don't feel like you're being pressured to make this decision yes consider the other possibilities know that there is almost like um this chance in the near future to go back and choose again if that's the case right it's like there is value in going back so don't feel pressured but also don't be so premature it's like think things through because it's like you're you are growing up in a fast pace so it's like i want to say maybe very quickly you're going to go from a very um initial stage of development to you know a more mature a more experienced place so it's almost like you're going to it's like you're going to have the proper mindset right if you just take your time and enjoy this right consider the possibilities and yes if you do choose it's like just know that you are taking your time to choose wisely with whatever wisdom you have which might feel small because you're still in the initial stages of development but still there is almost like the the sort of truth is already in you and it is quickly developing so it's almost like you're going to you know you know what I mean? It's like the helmet is not going to be 
an impediment. It's not going to prevent you. It's not going to be um, like a, a blockage. It's not going to slow you down. It's actually going to give you the proper mindset to reassess the other things that weren't chosen right now, right? So Pisces, I am going to pull more cards to see where this wants to go. It feels very promising, right? But there is this, um, there is this kind guidance, I want to say. It's like, adjust your mind. Because, okay, so last thing that I want to say about this. So you're quickly growing, right? There is this fast pace in your development. But if you choose wisely, if you enjoy the moment for what it is with your current mindset, with humil humility, right? It's like you're not thinking that you are the wisest person. It's like you are accepting where you are. You are acknowledging the fast pace, but you're still in this initial stage and then, you know, a little bit further. But you are humble right and so that's the reason why the helmet is not going to block you or um prevent you from seeing what needs to be assessed so be wise in the pace or in the level of development in the level of awareness that you have at this moment don't want to um don't try to you know rush into things because I do feel like you're going to have to come back. So it's almost like go in the pace that you can just keep up with, right? So, okay, I'm going to pull more cards for the extended and also I'm going to pull from the astrological rooms in the extended reading. So if you wanna join me there, I'll be very happy to see you. You can find link down below. If not, I'll see you next time. Bye.